guys ready for a shit story? <laughs> All right. So uh, I have a, a very sensitive stomach. I'd say about half my shits are diarrheas. <laughs> And it's not just like when I eat something bad, it's also when I like experience anxiety or like trauma. And I'd say the most traumatic period of my life was in middle school. I went to this school called Palms Middle School. And uh, I was this chubby, shy, awkward little Asian kid. And I, the school, everyone else in the school was a bully. You know, I got, I got bullied, I got beat up occasionally. Every time I'd go to my locker, stuff would be missing. I mean, when I think back to my years at Palms Middle School, I just picture a bunch of kids just pointing at me and laughing at me. It was a nightmare, right? But eventually, I graduated, and uh, I ended up going to uh, high school, and I just felt a lot better. I grew up, I felt more confident, I made friends, and uh, one day, uh, in high school, one of my friends came up to me and was like, hey, do you want to uh, catch a talent show that my little sister's in? It's at Palms. And I, I could feel my body, like, <laughs> tensing up. But then I felt better, and I was like, oh, you know what? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grown now. That, that's past me. I'm confident now. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I'll see you there. So that Saturday comes, riding my bike to my old middle school, I lock up my bike, and the moment I set foot on the campus, I could feel my stomach start to turn. <laughs> but I pay it no mind, I go into the auditorium, right? The auditorium is packed. There's just parents, kids running around, faculty, it's just packed. I see my friends sitting in the front row, and they save me a seat. I join them, and the talent show begins. And as soon as I sit down, I feel like I need to use the restroom. My stomach is like, about to explode, right? <laughs> but I just got there, so I decided to fight it through. About a half hour into the show, I am literally like in the fetal position. I'm like shaking, and sweat is pouring down my face. I'm not even looking at the stage, and my stomach is killing me. I really have to use the restroom, and I think, you know what, I'm gonna, I gotta relieve this pressure. I'm gonna try to release some gas. I'm just gonna try to finesse some gas discreetly out of me. So I kind of position myself to do it discreetly, you know. And this hot squirt <laughs> shoots out of my butt and I'm like, oh no. And I feel this cold circle forming in the back of my pants. And I go up to my friends and I'm like, look, guys, I'll be back. And I like quick step out of the auditorium and I burst out of the auditorium into the lobby and I'm frantically looking for the boys' restroom and I see the boys' restroom and I kick open the door and I'm in the restroom. Now the restroom at Palms is similar to the restroom at, at, at a bunch of underfunded middle schools all across the country. <laughs> there are two stalls. One of them has the door completely ripped off. <laughs> The other one, I go in there, the toilet is filled with paper towels and someone else's shit. <laughs> and I try to flush it, it just won't go down. So, I'm, I, you know, I have, a, I have a problem here. Which, it's a philosophical question, really. Which one do you choose? Do you choose the one without the door or the one with, that's filled with shit? And at this point, I'm like, I'm, I'm about to explode. So I, I have no choice. I close the door, I pull down my pants. Now you know you have to take a shit when you're willing to shit on top of someone else's shit. <laughs> so I like go into the stall and I'm like hovering over the, the, the toilet and I, I just let it loose. And it's like, it's not like a shit, it's like a, a damn burst, right? It's just for, I mean, a, a good 20 seconds, it's like <sighs> just shooting out of me. It, it's, it's like an exorcism, right? And I, it, it's weird because it's like the spiritual, it was the spiritual uh, uh, situation going on. I, my eyes were closed and I felt like these demons were like shooting out of my body. Like all of, the, all of those experiences from middle school, the kids beating me up and, 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 and the kids, you know, stealing my stuff from my locker and, and all the kids pointing at me and laughing at me. It was just shooting out of me. It was the most cathartic shit I had ever taken in my life. Right. And it keeps going 
And then it just stops. And I open my eyes and I feel so good. I feel like a new man. I feel like completely reborn, right? And then I look down at my shoes and I see this brown pool start forming around my feet. And then I look down into my pants. It is filled to the brim with shit. I look back at the toilet covered in shit. My shit and the next dude's shit, the dude before me. The wall splatters everywhere. I'm like, oh my God. Oh no. I see this renegade like stream start moving out from under the stall and just on instinct I start squeegeeing it back in with the side of my shoe and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, what do I do? I start pulling out the toilet paper and I start like like a sinking rowboat. I start like just like scooping it out of my pants. And I'm like, oh no, I need more. I, I, I need paper towels. I need paper towels. So I pull up my pants and they're heavy and cold. And I like Charlie Chaplin it over to the paper towels and I start yanking out paper towels, yanking them out. And then I hear the audience applause. And I'm like, oh no, it's intermission. It's the time in the show when people go to use the bathroom. And I look out into the bathroom, there's like shit footprints all over the floor, streaks of shit going underneath into the stall. I look at the sink, just shit droppings everywhere. The paper towel dispenser just dripping with feces. It's, it's a crime scene. And I hear the audience walking into the lobby and I'm like, oh, at this point I'm an animal. I'm just like acting purely on instinct and I run into the stall and I just close it and I just stand there. Just waiting for this onslaught of people to be met with the surprise of their life. My feet clearly visible under the stall, but I'm like, okay, just, just relax, relax, calm down, calm down. And I hear the door open and I literally hear a grown man gasp. <gasps> oh. And then I hear the door close. I'm like, And I hear the door open again, a teenage boy literally screaming. Ah! The door closes and I'm like. <laughs> the door opens again. I hear a father and son walk in a few steps and I hear the son say, daddy, what happened in here? And the father, I hear him go, let's go. Come on, go, 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 go. And then the door closes. This happens over and over and over and over again, and I just want to die. At one point, I hear the door open, and I hear a bunch of boys busting out laughing. And I hear the voice of another boy say, I told you, I told you, you thought I was lying, I told you. At this point, I had become a part of the talent show. My talent? shitting everywhere. <laughs> the one bright spot was when the door opened and I hear these feet walk in gently and this kind man's voice say, is everything okay in there? <laughs> and my plan was to not exist, to not say anything, to just, just be quiet. But it just came out of me and I said, I'm okay. <laughs> and then the door closed. <laughs> now, eventually it got to the point where the door stopped opening and I didn't hear the audience in the lobby and I was like, oh, okay, they, mu they must be back in the show. You know, the second half must have begun. Now's my time to get the hell out of here. So I opened the stall 
open the bathroom door. I run out through the lobby, out of the auditorium, and I see my bike, and I beeline to my bike with my head down. I'm not looking up. I'm just going straight to my bike. And from the corner of my eye, I see a group of kids <laughs> pointing at me and laughing at me. And they're like, that's him. That's him. That's the shit guy. That's him. <laughs> And I realize I cannot run from the trauma of my middle school years. It is always gonna be with me. And I get to my bike, I unlock the bike, I jump on it, and I pedal home as fast as I could. And I never went back to that middle school again. That's it, thanks.